miniature version of B-2 bomber for aircraft carriers. If U.S. B-2 Spirit stealthy strike bomber that will take off from aircraft carriers? In the mid-1980s, the Navy needed a replacement for the beloved but venerable A-6 intruder. Building on expectations about the progress of stealth bomber technology, McDonnell Douglas developed the A-12 Avenger, a subsonic flying wing bomber that visually resembled a miniature B-2 Spirit. Combining stealth with the flexibility of carrier ops, the A-12 promised an unparalleled deep strike capability. Even the Air Force expressed interest in the A-12 as a replacement for the F-111 Aardvark. These transformations would have changed the course of wars, countries win and lose wars for many reasons besides technology but rather would have had ripple effects across the entire defense industrial base, altering how our military organizations approached and procurement. Not all the changes would have been for the best, sometimes programs are canceled for sound reasons. The Air Force is now concentrating on the next generation carrier bomber, a project that closely resembles the A-12 Avenger in many ways. The death of the A-12 Avenger, in effect, transformed the nature of the USS carrier wing for a generation or more. A-12 Avenger McDonnell Douglas developed the A-12 Avenger, a subsonic bomber that visually resembled a miniature B-2 Spirit. Combining stealth with the flexibility of carrier ops, the A-12 promised an unparalleled deep strike capability. Even the Air Force expressed interest in the A-12 Avenger. But there were problems. Early expectations about the stealth coating proved optimistic, and the fixes substantially increased the Avenger's weight. Expenses soared, but the aircraft did not. The biggest problem, however, was that the Avenger entered the design and production cycle just as the Cold War came to an end. Facing a tight defense budget, Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney decided to kill the A-12 in favor of less risky programs. United States class aircraft carrier, USS Montana class battleship, USS Lexington class battle cruiser, B-49, F-23 Black Widow and the F-20 Tiger Shark. The effects of the cancellation remain with us today. Instead of acquiring an advanced stealth bomber, the Navy settled on the Super Hornet, a significant, but conventional, upgrade on the F-18S it already possessed. Eventually, the continuing need for a stealthy, carrier-borne strike aircraft and bomber would manifest in the F-35C, a program that continues to teeter between disaster and epic disaster. Even if the F-35C somehow works out, the Navy gave up the deep strike mission when it settled on the Super Hornet. In the early 21st century, the body of theory known as the Revolution in Military Affairs resulted in a major army procurement plan known as Future Combat Systems. Future Combat Systems envisioned an integrated system of weapons, vehicles, and sensors. Technology undoubtedly matters, but only rarely in the sense that an isolated technological achievement lends decisive advantage in tactical engagements. Rather, technological innovations and choices shape the ways in which military organizations, and the broader defense industrial complex, approach the prospect of war. Each of these systems involved a radical rethink of organizational roles and priorities, and the cancellation of each left huge holes in capabilities, holes that continue to be filled in novel ways. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.